City planners in Youngstown have made it clear their focus is on saving neighborhoods that can be saved and spending money to keep certain neighborhoods viable before they're beyond help. Tonight we'll take a look at two such neighborhoods on different sides of Youngstown and the efforts being made to save them. This afternoon in the Lincoln Knowles neighborhood on Youngstown's east side, they broke ground for a new park. Hey, hey, hey. Two, three. Last night in the Handles neighborhood on the south side, neighbors posed for a picture at a renovated triplex. The Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation was part of both projects in what Executive Director Ian Beniston calls middle neighborhoods, ones that are showing stress but can still be saved. Those in the middle are the ones that we really need to focus on stabilizing because it's very important for the future of the city to preserve the density and preserve the integrity of the neighborhood, preserve the population. Beniston considers both Handles and Lincoln Knowles to be middle neighborhoods, along with Idora, Pleasant Grove, Brownlee Woods, Rocky Ridge, and Crandall Park. The Handles neighborhood was built in the early 1900s. Where houses were torn down, YNDC is now building new ones. It got worse and now it got better, a lot better. Why? Because now everybody cares about their houses. How do you save old neighborhoods like this? Um, one, one building at a time, one at a time. Lincoln Knowles is a post-World War II neighborhood, which also had problems but is also showing improvements like a new park. Lincoln Knowles had a high number of landlords who ignored their properties, which the people of the neighborhood dealt with themselves. We would have work days uh, with uh, YNDC. With these work days, we were able to uh, clean up the properties that had trash and uh, tires. They became dumping grounds. So even here in Lincoln Knowles, we've been working actively uh, for well over four years. So the county land banks torn down a number of homes. Uh, earlier this summer, we sold a home that we just renovated on Duncan Lane. We're going to be working on another vacant one here soon, renovating a lot of owner-occupied homes, so helping homeowners that need assistance. 